Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're at the Commercial Vehicle Show here in Birmingham, 2022, and we're going to start off with the Maxxis stand, which, as always, same as last year, is all electric. Let's. Uh, there's 12 different models on stage today. Um, so we've got five different L E Deliver threes and E Deliver nines. So let's start off right down at the end with an E-Deliver 9 chassis cab with a looping box body on the back then so you can see some of the different variations that you can go with if you are going to go electric. So good massive size, plenty of user applications for that and this one has the clasp doors on the back of it. That's an E-Deliver 9 with that looping body on that chassis cab. Next up we've got the E-Deliver 3 and that is with that high roof if you need that extra height. Both E Deliver 9 and E Deliver 3 are already reviewed in the channel, the standard panel van versions. But that is the High Roof E Deliver 3. Next up, we've got a chassis cab made specifically for Tesco. Refrigerated unit on the back, box body. And all branded up there for Tesco. Next, then we have a standard E Deliver 3 for the RAC with that light bar on the top of it, nice size for getting it out of parking, garages, underground parking, etc. And we've got something different here with the E-Deliver 3 racer with the alloys on it and the stripes. Interesting. There are a lot of modded customs. So it has the skirts at the bottom as well and it has that blue decals. Let's have a look to see if we can get a look at it at the front. That's the E-Deliver 3 Racer, if that's what you're interested in. It. That's the first five. There's Paul Kirby doing his video. Next up then we have the Crew Cab E-Deliver 9 factory spec with the ladder roof rack up the top. Uh, side, uh, offside uh, door on it. We deliver nine crew cab. You can see the step is after coming out there. And it's got four seats in the back with that step. And then you have, it's still a great space in the back of that, even with a crew cab. So that is number six, number seven. Or is that number seven? Um, is minibus good size? That is a thirteen seater, I believe. Three, six, nine, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen seater plus driver. We've got the all kitted out there. Lots of space getting in and getting out there with that step. A Deliver 9 in minibus. Next we've got the E Deliver 3 tipper. So the chassis cab with the tipper body on the back. Perfect for local authorities or and then we've got a lot of people interested in the E Deliver 9 welfare van. We saw this with uh, Transit, E-Transit. You've got your toilet cubicle at the back there. On the right and on the left then you have wash facilities. In the front you have table, microwave, for four, goes all the way through. So a welfare van, something we don't see a lot in Ireland, but there are. And then we've got something a bit different as well. We've got the E-Deliver 3 chassis cab with an insulated body on in the back. Now it's not refrigerated. But I'm sure there's a use for it. If you have goods that don't need refrigerating and you still want that extra bit of length, aero at the front, that's the E-Deliver 3 chassis and cab with a kind of an inside of body at the back. What we're going to have later on then today is we have the T90 EV electric pickup. It's going to be revealed, there'll be a separate video on that. And we also have the MIFA MPV seven seater that's going to be uh, released today as well today at 11 o'clock so you can see the pickup size but look at the size of this thing it's something similar to a discovery we're told 
So that is the MIFA, and that stands for... I have to get my notes out because I can't remember what it stands for. It stands for, MIFA stands for Maximum Intelligent Friendly and Artistic. That's the MIFA 9. And there's the stage that we're going to be talking to Mark Barrett, who is the general manager of Harris Maxis. That is my uh, walk around the commercial vehicle show of all the electric fans that are here. Next up, we're going to have an interview with Mark Barrett, who's the general manager for Harris Maxis. So we are here at the commercial vehicle show and we were with the general manager from Harris Maxis, Mark Barrett again. How are you? I'm oh, good. Good, Derek. Good. Yourself? Very good. Good to be on the Harris stand again. And I love the stand because it's all electric. Yes. Today we're showcasing 12 full electric vehicles uh, with many different variants. So you've got five E-Deliver uh, e 3 versions, five E-Deliver 9 versions. I've gone through them already on the video. And then we have the brand new T90 EV pickup going yes. to be announced in a couple of hours. And the MIFA 9. And the MIFA 9. So and we were talking about this last year and I'll do separate videos on both of those. We'll do a walk around and we'll do a sit into it. A departure from commercial vehicles, Mark, but there's an opportunity there. We're expanding and it's just, just the world of electric. Okay. So we're becoming a household name for, for EV vehicles. Yes. Um, our wish list, our, our ultimate goal the next three to four years is that we'll have both passenger car, light commercial vehicles, which we know today with the yes. vans, up to the heavy commercial Good vehicles, uh, up to tractor units, etc., and full electric. Excellent. Um, when we started off, the brand wasn't that well known, but now you've got a good market share here in the United Kingdom. We have. Um, in the world of electric, in our segment, we have 11% market share Brilliant. Uh, for and electric vehicles. Overall sales then within the Maxis group, you're up over 35, 36% of electric sales. 36% uh, at the moment of the last 12 months up to April of this year is, is electric, 36%. Unbelievable. Uh, and you, that growth, you can see that getting bigger and bigger every year. It's just, it's escalating that yeah, way. Yeah. It's trajectory of, of EV sales. I think I think this year should finish out uh, over 50% EV. Wow, half. And I suppose your commitment to electric vehicles to show on here at the, st at the stand, it's all electric. As much as you've got combustion engine stuff, you're not showing it. No, no. We all, we all know ICE engines, it's, it's let's showcase something different that's electric. Yeah. And it's not just an EV vehicle, it's the different variants of it. You can have multi-temp fridges, yes. so chiller, freezer, ambient. Yes. Uh, we've got the sports van there on display. We've got a welfare unit. Yeah, so we don't, again, don't see a lot of those in Ireland, but over in the UK, because of legislation, they're, they're for, very for, much so. For, for maintenance, roadside maintenance and crews and yes. stuff, at least to have kitchenette area, toilet, uh, toilet etc. Yeah. So it's very popular in what the UK. What happens in Ireland when people are doing this kind of work? Where do they go to the toilet, uh, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> Portaloo. <laughs> yes, we won't say anything no. else. Uh, we have a small little tipper, and we know we're conscious about payload and stuff, and we have the low floor Luton. Yes. Um, and that's made with a special material. That body okay. weighs 295 kilos. Wow. So Because you have to keep that load down because you want the capacity, the carrying load to be higher. It's just... Uh, Material is changing, yes. uh, and on the the body itself, it's a honeycomb material. Okay. So it's stronger, but but super Lighter. lightweight. Excellent. And you're looking at a pay payload of 1,400 kilos in that vehicle. Wow. For an EV, which is It'd remarkable. Be amazing, yeah, good size. The network, the Harris, the Maxis network, and you can earn it's growing all the time. We're at the moment we're at 46 uh, full 3S dealer outlets yes. in the UK. Um, we've got an additional nine service points. Yes. And currently we have 14 open areas in the UK that we're, we're, we're constantly Excellent. expanding the network. And it's not about just taking everybody on, it's very much quality over quantity. It's not yes, about having it's, them it's, in it's every having, town the, having, having the same ethos as us, it's, it's going an extra mile for the customer. Okay, brilliant. And, that, and, and the, the calibre dealers coming on board, you can see the passion in them, you know, and that's, that's what we want. We talked last year about that sometimes people balk at the initial purchase price of an electric vehicle, but we talked about the total cost of ownership. And Maxis have stepped up to it with SAIC and said, right, we're going to help people buy these vehicles. So there's a huge fund there, 30 million pounds. Yep, so we, we've, we've been talking to the factory for the last 12 months on let's help the BBC market, let's help that individual yes. van owner, owner, whether it's butcher, baker, candlestick maker, let's see can we help them make that transition over. So we, we, we come up with 2,000 vehicles 
uh, and, a, and a special conquest support fee, uh, and it works out 30 million for wow. the first 2,000 vehicles. He deliver nines. He deliver nines. But no, uh, different type of shop shapes is then chassis yep, cab. Yeah, so whether it's chassis van. cab or panel vine, once it's an e deliver nine, um, each customer will get 15,000 pounds straight away off the purchase. Nice. Yes, brilliant. So lots going on here today, but I'm excited and I know that you haven't even seen them yet, I, I believe. <laughs> we have the <laughs> T90 EV, so the electric pickup, you're not bringing that in a combustion because it is available in China in a combustion engine. We're only bringing it in EV, EV only. EV only. Yeah, all um, of our new products coming in the future, new platforms, and we just electric only. Excellent. So electric pickup, you've got the Ford Lightning in the US, maybe the T90 will be as good as it in the European market. Hope so. And then MIFA 9. MIFA is one I'm really excited about uh, because it's going into the passenger car world. Yeah. Um, we have a seven seat, eight seat, we've got three different trim levels. Um, the one we have here today would be the flagship model. Brilliant. So we, when it's unveiled, you'll see, the, you'll see the bells and whistles on it. So I'm going to do a bit of a walk around here today, but I know it's coming back to Dublin and so hopefully I might get a chance to pop up to... We will have our EV event in Mondello in June. Excellent. and it's, it's open to everyone to pop along Excellent. and what we're doing is we're holding various workshops so around charging side of it leasing companies we'll have the max intelligence and board there which is basically we can show you what the charge cycles are battery, what, left. What your battery left and the full telematics of the vehicle Excellent. so to help people make that transition over to electric Perfect. and even just for an awareness come along and and learn a bit about electric absolutely and so yeah because there's that, that on, so whether it's businesses or fleet or local authorities i'll put the stats up on the screen the yep. dates in Thon Mandela park and i'll be putting it on show, social media as well what are you most excited about i know you've got two new electric vehicles launching today but um, overall at the commercial vehicle show it's, it's just another good year, yeah. um, and, and as again, it's this year we've we've over 120 from the network here, um, and it's just to see the dealers, uh, new and old faces, um, and it's getting back out there meeting people again. Yeah. It's a lot uh, about networking, isn't it, and shaking hands and meeting people. Yeah. Zooms are great. Yeah, and all the rest of it. Good old old school meeting person yeah. and that, and this year we've we've increased the stand size this year by I think nearly 40 percent or wow. more um, for for unveiling the two vehicles. Excellent. Um, but even the funny story, like our own vehicle is in China at the moment. I heard this lockdown. is an Italian one, I believe. So thankfully, <laughs> our friends in Italy um, allowed us to borrow their pickup nice. for, the, for the show, which so, meant two men in a, in a Jeep and a trailer left Thursday to drive to Milan. Somewhere in Italy. Oh, I see you to go pick it up and then bring it yeah, over. I'm bring it into the tunnel. Nice spin. A uh, nice spin for them, yeah, <laughs> and they're leaving here Friday to go back to Italy with it. <laughs> Mark, so, thank you so much no for your time. Eric. And listen, we'll Pleasure talk to you always. soon. All the best. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Next up, we have MEV City, MEV City, and you have a couple of different conversions here. So it is all based on the same platform. And this is a two seater electric vehicle. And you can see it there. Interesting. Um, and this one has been converted by Bob Four into a kind of a, like a catering sandwich lorry. You've got your stainless steel presuming there's all heated elements inside here and you can see very nice be perfect for delivering stuff around and this is the pickup you can see here a good size space new room six foot two 188 centimeters Oh, a sunroof as well. I didn't realize there was a sunroof. Up there. That's the... You wouldn't be bringing it around now for shopping bags and stuff like that. And then you have perfect pipe carrier. So that is the MEV City. So you can get a 50 or 100 mile battery range. There is no vehicle duty or road tax here in the United Kingdom and then it's EU LES zone free. Prices starting at fifteen and a half thousand pounds, hundred percent electric, that's got the roller shutter on the back of it. So that is the Mev City stand here at the CV show, commercial vehicle show 2022. Next up we're on the Volta truck stand which is 100% electric and this one is a new one for me because it's refrigerated. It's a prototype they've done in connection with Carrier. So we've seen the Volta truck already at the commercial, at the uh, fully charged show and you can see here you've got some more information but you can 
the different doors that are on the back of it. And this is the prototype refrigerator one. Large truck. Big step up there. Must be a body at the top of it. So that's the DV20 prototype. Very big. And with the Volta, you can see it's got the ease, easy in. There's somebody else sitting inside there at the moment. But you've got the cameras for wing mirrors. You've got the screens on the side of the cab as well. Full size door. You've got that blind spot. And then the front of it's very aero. Camera up the top. And that curved windscreen. So super, even though it's a large lorry, the truck you are going to be getting it and you can see inside there you've got um, pillion or side passengers either side of that screens all on the inside we'll try and have a look at this when we come back if i can get back in the front of it but hopefully the guy that's sitting inside of it now is going to buy it and you've got the double sliding doors so that's the volta prototype refrigerator truck here at the commercial vehicle show 2022 next up is the ford stand here at the commercial vehicle show uh, lots of stuff going on here but what we're interested in is the electric stuff thought the ford custom was going to be here but it is the e-transit that we had a look at in barcelona there's a full review already on the channel the custom is going to be the smaller one so that is the crew cab that we're looking at this is a welfare truck we don't have a lot of these in ireland but there is a crew seating hot water microwave they call them welfare truck and in the back then you should be able to see toilets perfect there's the toilet in the back this is refrigerated with the actual refrigeration unit there we didn't get a chance to look at all of the different types in Barcelona, but that's the refrigerated one. And you can see where it plugs in, which is really smart rather than the diesel running on it. Um, there's the charger. And we have the tipper, the transit tipper body, which looks great. DHL branded, just a regular. That's high roof, high, uh, H2, H3, L3. So that's that. And then we've got the regular length over here. And then we have DPD in transit as well. So lots of different variations of that E transit. And then it's talking about Ford Pro, which is that all it is software telematics covers everything here so that is the Ford stand at the commercial vehicle show 2022 looking forward to seeing the transit custom next year Toyota professional stand here at the commercial vehicle show 2022 and same as last year we have the Pro Ace Electric which is based on that Stellantis platform you can see the charging ports up at the top you've got Stellantis switch gear inside radio pretty similar double sliding doors on this one the old fuel cap is down there but they don't use it anymore that's the Pro Ace, fully electric. Let me see. So that's the double sliding doors there. And then leather seats, leather effect. And it's got your same dial, same dash. Very similar to the E Export that was on the channel recently. And then on the stand as well, you have the Pro A City, which is the equivalent of the Partner and the Berlingo. Looks well. Charging is on the back, where the regular charging flap is. Yeah, AC, DC there, CCS. And it's got. Double sliding door as well, yeah. 
and some stats on it UK prices so 16 inch wheels fabric seats front and rear parking sensors etc etc and then on the Pro Ace stats wise 16 inch wheels as well two sliding doors etc etc so battery is 50 kilowatt so that's the same as the Solantis ones I'm just wondering if they're going to get it in the 75 kilowatt as well so that's not usable it drops to 48 for usable but there is an option for an electric Toyota van next up is the DAF LF fully electric and you can see the electric a lot of brands use the fact that there is blue on it but you can see the size of this fella you can see the battery packs in underneath here Aero at the top, you can see it's slightly good to see them this size. It's one thing I haven't driven yet is something that's big. But the LF Electric from DAF, I haven't got any stats on it, it's just parked out here on its own. I just said I'd show you what it looks like and the size of an electric truck that's available. Here on the lease plan stand, same as it was a fully charged. They've got the arrival truck. Looks great in the branding and also just the futuristic nature of it. You can see straight in. We've got just a single screen, wing mirrors, camera monitors, and then some roller shutter at the back. And then these can also have a Max as he delivered three. So a lot of stands have electric vans here, but I have covered a lot of them with the guards to get the bigger stuff. Here we are with the Maxxis T90 EV, battery size 88.55 kilowatt hours, uh, WLTP rate of 198 miles, 320 kilometers. It's got a 150 kilowatt rear motor. Um, it is weighing coming in at 3.3 tons or 3,300 kgs body size it's 5.36 meters long by 1.9 by 1.8 the cargo box volume is 1.485 meters by 1.5 by 5.5 a meter 530 millimeters tall it's got heated wind rear windscreen it's got a reversing camera somewhere probably down there yes it is reversing camera there it has wind sensing wipers the headlights are halogen down here with a daytime running light and uh, indicators 17 inch alloys there are 245 65 17s stainless steel sports fire we talked about and it's got a payload in the body of 400 sorry 740 kgs it's got a gtm gross towing mass of 4050 kgs ac charging it will take you 6.6 .6 hours and on dc you can go from 20 to 80 percent in 45 minutes with double wishbone suspension at the front leaf spring on the rear the front it is a 27 degree angle of attack and on the rear it's 24 degrees Disc brakes front and rear, and that internal screen is a 10.25 meter screen inside it. Buttons down here, lots of manuals. Buttons, eco power, and you've got your hair gone. So yeah, that is the Maxxis T90 EV. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. Quick look around first impressions. Hopefully you've enjoyed my total look around the electric vehicles at the CV show 2022. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and leave a comment. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.